This is West End Lake Shore Park. It's located in New Orleans on the west end of town on Lake Pontchartrain. It was created in 1906 by Act 209. Another act, Act 92 of 1910, was created for making this park an amusement park or public recreation park. We're proposing to have a bike path that goes out to the point right now. You can see the road here, which is called Breakwater. As we come along through this drone footage, the Breakwater uh, seawall is on our right. And you can see the nice oak trees, about 10 heritage oak trees that we'll bike through as we come along Breakwater Drive. The road needs to be repaired, as does the seawall and the sidewalk here. There's a pelican colony that's here in the fall on the water. We've had eagles in the trees. It's a beautiful place, and we'd like to plant more trees here. There's three to one matching federal dollars right now available for this 1.3 acres of state land that adjoins roughly 20 acres of a park in New Orleans. And that park uh, is, is a great place called West End Lakeshore Park. We would like to maybe you could put some recreation in there. We idea is not to develop it, but to keep this street and make that the bike lane. And then that bike lane uh, would turn into a, a, a lane that goes along the pumping station along West Marina. And that would take us along West Marina to the seawall. We would perhaps uh, have that as an emergency use lane so that when there's trouble, when the street floods, West Marina floods frequently, the way it was designed, it's got a low point. Uh, you could have the cars and access emergency vehicles use the bike lane that would be towards the pumping station on the west side of, of west of Lake Marina Drive to allow cars, to the emergency vehicles to get in and out. As we keep going through, we'll go a, a little bit of land here, a couple of hundred feet of that is in New Orleans. And then we will get to the fence, which is where West Roadway and Lake Marina meet. We'll take a right here. And now you'll see again, it's flying over the uh, pumping station area land so that we could get out of the area and connect to Jefferson Parish. As we uh, approach the levee wall, you'll see there that it's the safety wall for flooding. We now just have to have to figure out, do we have a bottleneck there where people have to walk their bikes around or do we go over this wall and how do we handle that? But in the meantime, once you get around there, you'd have a great bike path out to the point. that Jefferson Parish has been working on for some time. That bridge would be right uh, before the pumping station towards New Orleans and Jefferson Parish side, population side, not towards the lake side of this bridge. From there, you would uh, actually cross into Bucktown, which is now we're in Jefferson Parish. So we'd leave New Orleans, we'd cross into Jefferson Parish, and with the idea of tying into the Bucktown Harbor uh, bike path that goes along the lake, all the way out to Jefferson Parish and Bonneville and Causeway and actually all the way to Clearview and Kenner. So this would be a great way of connecting that bike path to go out to the point. It does need uh, care, like we said earlier, to be uh, we're looking for budget money from the state to decide to put up about a million dollars to repair the seawall. And from there, we would uh, get that behind us, keep the road, convert the road. Uh, some people want to tear out the road and put... Uh, bars or restaurants out there. We just think that we should leave this as a part of our continual bike path and then save the wildlife sanctuary. People want it to be a bird sanctuary. That seems to make a lot of sense. And we hope you would, uh, you know, that the legislature gets behind converting this project and funding, repairing the, the seawall along Lake Pontchartrain as soon as possible. Thank you.